MC's Biotherapeutics is hot on the trail to a type 1 diabetic cure. Here's what they are doing. MCIS, pronounced MCs in English, is a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company based in Belgium. MCs is primarily known for its work in developing immunotherapies for autoimmune diseases. The company's technology involves using its IMATO platform to target autoimmune diseases by specifically inducing antigen specific immune tolerance. This approach aims to modulate the immune system's response to specific antigens involved in autoimmune diseases, like type 1 diabetes, potentially offering a more targeted and effective treatment option. Today, we will take a hard look at how their platform differs from others looking to manipulate the immune system to stop type 1 diabetes in its tracks. Let's look at MCIS and their antigen-specific platform for fighting autoimmune diseases including type 1 diabetes and how this platform differs from current therapies that are being worked on by other companies. Stick with us because this is a very interesting technology. As you may know, autoimmune disease happens when the body attacks the body's cells and tissues. For us diabetics, that means the beta cells in our pancreas. As we have covered on this channel and other videos the challenge of various therapies that involve immunosuppressive drugs to ward off the immune cell attack. Not to say that these immunosuppressive drugs aren't a step in the right direction, but there are potential side effects when there is a general suppression of the entire immune system. Anyone who has had a diabetic-related kidney replacement knows this full well. The same goes for those who have had a successful pancreas transplant. We are happy for the new organs, but we have to be on constant alert for side effects such as catching germs or infections or even cancer susceptibility. The MC's platform for addressing these challenges is called the Imatope technology. This is a proprietary technology approach to fighting autoimmune diseases such as type 1 diabetes. As per their company website, the imatopes are simple peptide molecules, injected subcutaneously, or under the skin, which stimulate an immune response that blocks the autoimmune pathways. They have the potential to have long-lasting effects that stop the progression of the disease. So in effect, they are creating a response that blocks the autoimmune response. This is cool stuff, don't you think? Let's look at some of the characteristics of this approach, but first, can you help us by hitting the like and subscribe buttons? Your support helps this channel to expand, so thanks to you all. In my opinion, this approach is beautiful in its simplicity. It fires this imatope into the path of the immune system's oncoming attack to block the attack from damaging the cells that will generate insulin. Forgive me for the military analogy, but they are shooting a missile to intercept a missile which is an immune attack. Sorry, being a Navy veteran, I had to use that metaphor. The best part of all is no need for immune-suppressive drugs. Okay, now that we have a basic understanding of this next generation of immunotherapeutics called imatopes, where are they in the process of making this a reality? Here is one milestone in a company press release from about a year ago, MCs announces completion of enrollment in Phase 2 impact trial of IMCY0098 for type 1 diabetes. Guys, type 1 diabetic warriors will be following the progress very closely as MCs is planning to release the results of the trial in the first quarter of 2024. So we could have answers any day now. Efficacy proof of concept data from impact is expected in Q1 2024, so after a review of the results, phase 3 trials could be right around the corner. The studies included 110 patients across the United States, Europe, and Australia. Part of the excitement for this channel is covering all these companies like a horse race to see who will come in first with the best technology to cure type 1 diabetes once and for all. I hope you found this encouraging. We will continue to bring you updates on the war on type 1 diabetes. Hang in there and we will talk again soon.